Hey y'all, welcome back to the ranch. I'm Jared Paul and today, uh, one of my favorite days of the year, I get to prune my trident maples. So uh, I'd say probably mid-summer I did a little profile pruning uh, and I have um, I have three specimen and then three plantings of three. Actually one of them lost one so one of the plantings is only of two now. Um, I actually did lose four trident maples this year. Uh, they just didn't come out of dormancy, so my bro Scott Sue said she's lost trees, uh, maple specifically, to uh, fungus in the soil before. So I'm definitely going to do some sort of fungicide treatment uh, in the in the fall here. But I think it's a good time. I've been looking at them, and to be quite honest, they are they're attractive because they're trident maples, but the trees themselves are in just terrible condition. I got them uh, bare rooted, so they're about, I'd say they were one year old when they were bare rooted and I got them in dormancy, so now they're five years old. And uh, they had a ton of long straight down roots, um, you know, really kind of twigs, not many branches, and just trying to allow the tree to thicken up and to gain a lot of energy. I let. A lot of branches go but now I think it's time so they've gotten established they're in nice pots and plantings that I have to make some hard cuts uh, so we're gonna take our time probably this will be over the course of three videos if I have to do one two if I have to do five plantings with six, eight, ten trees you know it's gonna take some time so anyways this is Alright, so here's the first one. It actually has a really nice thick trunk. I'm very happy with it. And has some pretty cool roots going on right now. So I'm loving this guy. But as we go up, it has some nice branching early on, but after that, pretty much everything is on one side of the tree. It's like straight up here and then all over. So, I don't know. I I don't think, I also don't like uh, this main branch here. So I think I gotta take that out and really take it down. I might leave this, that little bud right there. Boom, boom. That might be the apex. But let me get this uh, phone up on the tripod so I get a closer look. It's early afternoon, so I know the sun's coming and going behind a cloud. So uh, hopefully the lighting is still good. But that's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. So we really took like a nice long walk today out uh, at this wildlife preserve that they just take such good care of. Miles and miles and miles of trails. And nice and flat and wide for uh, pushing the stroller so Stella could take a nice little nappy. All right, so I think I'm just gonna go right for it and uh, take out this branch here. I'll leave a little bit of room Actually, there's a butt off the back from it. Nah, I'm, nah, I'm not gonna want it. I'll leave a little bit of room, but I don't think at this time of year I'll get much dye back, even though traditionally you would on the maples. So yeah, that branch drove me crazy. Um, yeah, and then above, it's another thick and straight. Just not a fan. So this is going to be the highest bud that remains. I'm just going to go ahead and trunk chop this. I'll leave a little more room on this since it's the main vein. A boom boom. All right, so I know that was drastic, but it was necessary. Got a little dead branch off the back here.
I mean, you know, you it's really difficult to let them, I wouldn't say get ugly, but allow them to grow out so that the, the tree gains energy, you get new branching, um, thicken up the trunk. You know, when you do a repot, it's nice. It settles, settles it into the, the uh, pot with nice, strong growth. Shooting out new roots. So there's just times where you got to let your trees grow. And uh, they look pretty good this summer. And that was because they had their nice canopies and these leaves are attractive. But as far as bonsai goes, or an ornamental pruning and that, really quite bad. So I've got this branch coming out here. And then this one's pretty much coming out of the same point. Now, is one more dominant than the other because it came first? I don't know, but I think... I'm going to leave the main, uh, but then I, this has growth coming out this way. So maybe that could be saved in the future. We're going to leave that. Let's see what we got here. Um, I think I'll just nip. After the first set of buds there. Yeah. So what I'm cutting off is the dieback from, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago. But it looks like, yeah, it dies back to about the same point. So it divides here. So there's a pretty long straight shot before. All right, let's try to get in and get a nice shot of these roots. So this one comes down and then it looks like it kind of cuts in there and heads down the middle. So when I repot, which might not be this coming year, maybe the following, following spring I will probably see if I can pull that out and direct it out this way like the rest of them and really have a cool and maybe even uncross these I don't know sometimes I like a little crossing for character uh, yeah and then got some nice ones coming out this side too so I really like this trunk It's finally getting some character. It's got it's got some nice thickness where I feel like it's in the appropriate sized pot. If it, we can create a more balanced canopy or uh, just start developing as a wind, in, windswept, excuse me. Uh, I think this is a good height for it. I really let that one grow. It was the mo uh, second most dominant of all of them, being that it was the thickest. But yeah, that was cool. That was fun. All right, let's see if we got time for another one. All right, so we're going to give this next one a little spin for you, and that will be my extra until the next video. So... You see this problem here, right? <laughs> it's terrible. Really, really uh, bulging part of the branch. It comes out and then literally d divides in parallel. Boom and boom. And then kicks off a bunch of shoots straight up. So it's just, oh, it's rough. Uh, we might be getting crazy on this tree. So please um, check back for part two of, I don't know, two or three parts, three, three at least, <laughs> three part of these Trident Maples. All right, my phone was overheating outside, so I figured we would say goodbye with baby Stella, who, the little terror just flipped her keyboard. <laughs> <Up in here. laughs> you having fun, baby? 
You say bye to everybody. Say cheers. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we'll see you in the next video. For my family and yours, cheers.